about the girl's work? What? What you get? Huh. It's just like thing. <laughs> Fourteen-year-olds Chloe Wong and Jamie Ong clinched first place for the junior category at this year's Pulse Street Dance Competition. The competition was renamed from Pulse Hip Hop Knockout after the inclusion of a K-pop category this year. We asked the junior champions what the difference between the two dance styles were. They said it was the first time they had K-pop dance category. So, what's the difference between hip hop dancing and K-pop dancing? K-pop, their dance is already there, so you don't actually really have to choreo the dance yourself. But hip hop, you have to start from scratch. You can take from other people's ideas, but you basically have to do the whole thing by yourself, and it's much more technical. Um, K-pop is more like a idol thing, so you have to have your facial. We do makeup and hair. We get plenty of sleep, <laughs> so that we don't get black eyes. <laughs> When we are dancing, just smile. When you're supposed to look cool, you look cool. Put your right hand downwards, and then put it, slot it in here, and this will look crazy, but yay! Okay, down you move to the center, and you move that thing. Bring it in, slow mo. Yeah. Then bring it over. Make sure it's ninety or so. Make sure that the tips of your fingers are touching. Yeah, flip it over. Flip it over. So it's like ninety. You're always in right angle. Then bring it up. Bring it up. Most common mistake is that people do it downwards, but you have to bring it up so much so that you go over your head. Alright. Then bring it down again. Put it here like a square. Then bring it over. Open up again and down. That's it. Coming up, we have Jungle Beat, the winners of the hip hop category, as they get technical with their dance moves. <laughs> 